What's going on, guys? Matty O'Daddy O'Money here. Hope everyone is having a wonderful night. So, I had a problem with one of my rigs. Uh, I recently purchased nine GPUs at a super insanely cheap price. I posted a, a part one video on that. I'll leave a link to that in the description below, just in case you haven't seen it yet and want to check that out. Um, I had all, I had everything up and running. All of the GPUs were recognized, but I, I kind of ran into a problem where four of the GPUs would drop off, and um, the only way that I could fix it is if I unplugged one random GPU, didn't matter which one it was, powered it on, would recognize all but the one, obviously, now that I had unplugged, and then I would power it off, then I would plug that one back in, and then everything would work fine. And then when I set you know, my flight sheet, different flight sheets, it just it wasn't working right. It would, it would constantly just crap out on me and then I'd, I'd reboot and then I would lose four GPUs again have to do the whole process so you know I checked the the normal things you know I double checked you know bio settings I double checked cables I double checked risers I went back and blew all the GPUs away and I re-added back one by one and it it fixed it for a while but like I said you know anytime there was a problem or it crapped out on me and I'd have to reboot then I would lose the four and have to go through the whole process again so I'm like you know what I'm just going to, we're just going to start over. I'm going to blow that rig away and we're going to start over with a new install, new clean install of HiveOS. So that kind of got me to thinking. I'm sure there's some up-to-date how-tos out there for setting up HiveOS, but you know what, If I'm since I'm doing it, might as well make a video out of it. So we're going to go through the whole kit and caboodle. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to HiveOn.com. Right now we're in the OS tab. Okay, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to click Start Mining. And this is starting like you've never never touched HiveOS before. You don't have an account, you don't have any of that stuff. So Start Mining. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in an email, you're gonna create a username and a password and register that email. Then when that is registered, you're gonna come back and you are going to log in. Okay, and then once you have your account created, you can go back to HiveOn.com the next thing you're going to click on is install. You're going to scroll down to GPU right here. Click on zip. And it's going to download the zip. Now, they have another way uh, that actually allows you to download like an EXE file that will run software that will flash itself onto a USB drive. And I'm, I'm not a fan of that. I would rather download the image file myself and flash it myself. What I prefer to do is flash it onto an SSD. And for some reason with the EXE, the EXE file that comes with Hive OS, it will only ever find a thumb drive. So then you gotta go through the process of flashing it to a thumb drive and then using Blina Etcher to clone it to an SSD. I'd personally rather just cut out the middleman, download the image file myself, and then flash it to an SSD with Blina Etcher. So while we are waiting for this to download, the next thing you want to do is download Blin Etcher. Sorry, I am typing one-handed as always. One of these days, boom, Mike. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Okay, so you're gonna come to etcher.blina.io, and again, I will leave all of these links down in the description. You're gonna download Etcher. It's a very simple install. Just follow all the uh, the defaults and you'll be good to go. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do that. Let's see where we're at. We're about halfway. So I'm gonna let this finish up and then I will see you guys in just a minute. Okay, the file has finished downloading. So the next thing that we need to do is plug in our SSD drive. I mean, if you want, you can do a thumb drive. There's nothing wrong with that. I personally prefer an SSD because it's faster and in setting these up you know sometimes you have to reboot quite a bit and an ssd is faster in the boot of process than a thumb drive so i prefer an ssd so what we need is a sata to usb adapter and right now i'm probably showing you some type of a picture to show you what i have again link will be in the description for what i am using so it looks like this is a, a hive disk already so i am going to we're just going to completely nuke it. All right. Let's format it. Okay, disk formatted. Let's double check disk management real quick. Let's get rid of all these partitions. Uh, 
That's not gonna let us get rid of that last one. So let's bring up disc part. This is disc three. Double check. 223 gigabytes, that looks about right. Select disk three, clean. Sorry about that, I accidentally hit the uh, the pause button there on the recording. So we, we initialized this and then formatted everything as uh, NTFS. So now let's bring up Etcher. Okay, so first thing we wanna select is flash from file. And then we can go to downloads. Here is the file that we just downloaded from Hive. So open, select our target, and this is the Sabrent device that we have, the uh, SATA to USB, and that's our 240 gigabyte there, the H drive that we checked already. Select, flash, it's gonna ask you, are you really, 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 really super sure? Yep. This shouldn't really take really long at all. We're running anywhere from 80 to 100, a little over 100 megabytes per second, so we'll be done here shortly. Okay, Etcher has finished doing its thing, so let's get out of that. So let's go back to our farm. Okay, so, so if you're new to this and you just signed up for a HiveOS account, you should see a farm here. If not, you can click on this plus sign up here, enter your farm name, hit save. That'll create you a farm. You'll come in here. You uh, won't have any rigs in here yet because you haven't set them up yet. So next thing we wanna do is again, hit this plus sign up here inside of the farm, hit the plus sign, add worker. Then you want to hit, we are gonna be doing a GPU rig, so we wanna hit add rigs. And then we want to connect existing. We already flashed our Hive OS to an SSD. So we want to do connect existing. And it's gonna create a, uh, a rig for us, but we're not gonna do anything with this. We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave this alone. We're gonna to go to settings. And then what we are going to do is we are going to name this rig something different. Let's call it 12, I have 12 GPUs on it. So and it's my only 12 GPU rig. So we're just gonna call it 12 GPU. Why not? So let's update our password. Okay, update worker, update password. Okay, then the very next thing that we wanna do is we want to click right here where it says rig.config. Okay, click that, it's going to download. Okay, so the next thing that we are gonna to wanna to do, uh, as we already know, Belina Etcher has finished flashing Hive OS. Let's see if it popped up here, and it does not look like it did. So what we need to do is we need to unplug the drive, wait a minute or so, and then plug it back in. So I will do that real quick and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I reseeded my USB adapter with my SSD and it still has not popped up yet. So I'm assuming it has not gotten a drive letter assigned to it. So let's go into disk management and check that. See if it's even popping up. I can blow this up so we can actually see. Yeah, so this does not have a drive letter assigned. So let's assign one, so right click on this first part here where it says Hive, right click, change drive letter and paths, click add, let's do H, H for Hive. Okay, so let's get out of this, and there she is, right there. Okay, so the very next thing that we wanna do is that config file that we just downloaded, we want to copy and paste into there. So let's get into here. Cut. Where the hell is paste? Okay, fine, Control V. Good Lord, Windows 11. Okay, so I've obviously done this before since there is a parenthesis two there. So we are going to get rid of that. And then that's it. All we need to do now is eject the uh, the SSD, pop it into our machine, fire it up, and let's see what happens. Okay, we are back. We have our mining rig 12 GPU right here. So let's see what happens. Um, let's set up some, some graphic cards. Alrighty, we have all of our GPUs showing up. So 
Um, I actually ran into an issue with one of my GPUs. It, even after all this crap, remember the, the issue that I told you where I had, I would just randomly use lose four GPUs while well, I, I actually ran into the same problem. I ended up just removing it one at a time and going through that whole painstaking process of figuring out which one it was. I found out which one it was and removed it, and now we are looking good. So the only thing now is I need to change my rig name to 11 GPU instead of 12. So I'll probably keep it 12 for now. Um, I'll probably get another GPU to throw in there. So, But, yeah, that's that's it. That's how you set up a mining rig on Hive OS. That'll about do it. You guys all have a good night.